Hi guys, so this is just a short unboxing video of a 600 watt solar panel kit from Renergy. I've already unboxed it as you can see, but obviously I've done that just so I can put it out and show you. And if you noticed, put it on this lovely pretty tablecloth because it's raining outside, so I've got to come inside. So the kit we've got is this one here. Obviously that price there is current price. Um, so we've gone for the 600 watt solar panel kit. Um, on the website it's pretty detailed to be fair. It shows you, gives you a vague description, the features, and it gives you everything included in the kit which I'll show you now. So apart from the solar panels and a few extra of these boxes, everything is here. So I'll just go through everything with you. So start with the fuse, you get a 60 amp ANL fuse, so this is the main fuse you're going to feed your solar charge controller. So you get one of those, and you also get 15 amp inline fuse for the solar as well. Now, this just clips, these are the actual connectors for the solar, and these just clip on. Just be mindful that anything, anything solar that you do, I'll just show you these. These connectors are only rated to 30 amps, so we'll just sort of cover that now because some people overlook that. Obviously, this is 15 amp. So we are less than 15 amp with this, but you can install solar and it can rise over 30 amps. So just be mindful that these are rated to 30 amps. We've got two Y branch connectors. So it's called MMF and FFM pair. So MMF, you've got male and female, obviously there's your male end and there's your female end. So we've got two of those. So that enables us to have two series strings. So it's basically, we've got a series parallel um, and I'll go into showing you what array we've we can use with this in a sec you get I think that's about a meter um, Which is it's like actually labels the a and a and l fuse So this will supply the fuse from the battery. So this will go Onto your fuse there. So this is the tray cable now. This is eight feet of four gauge So eight feet is about two and a half meters and four gauge is 25 mil cable It's handy because it's already got the lugs on it which is great. So this will connect, one of these will go onto the other side of your fuse, so one will be the positive, and then the other one will go onto either a negative buzz bar or the negative of your battery, and then the other ends are stripped back ready to go into the charge controller. These are the solar cables. So what these will do, these will go from your charge controller up to your connectors. So these will just connect in like that and that will then feed out your solar array. So you connect like that. So this you get 20 feet, which is about six meters of this stuff. So you obviously get two, there's positive and negative. So there's two of those. These are the brackets for, actually I haven't opened this one. Uh, the brackets for the solar panels. So what you get in this kit is you get these brackets. I'll go more in depth with the install video of the solar panels show you what these do but basically your solar panel sits on top of there so that it comes with bolts nuts bolts and washers to connect it to the solar panel so solar panel's got loads of it's got quite a few holes down it so you can choose where to fit this to or you can draw your own it's only aluminium and this bit here fits onto the roof or roof rack or anywhere you're going to fit it and it actually comes with self-drilling screws there you get one of these for each panel, so we've got six packs of these. Bluetooth controller. So let's get into this one. I think this is simply just plug and play. So that's your Bluetooth like transmitter. And then this end here, this just plugs straight into the bottom of this here. So it's a simple, straightforward connection. And you get some stickers. If you want to be a nerd, stick it to your van and you also get the destructions apologies if the sound's gone a bit weird because it's just started to rain and i'm in a conservatory and the last thing is the solar charge controller so it's this beauty here so it's pretty hefty um, all the measurements are online and also the weight it's quite heavy surprisingly but this is the biggest charge controller they do it's a 60 amp MPP charge controller. We did a lot of research with charge controllers 
and the only issue we found with this unit, the Renergy, was that you can't go over with your solar power. Um, some charge controllers let you go over the maximum. They've got a bit of tolerance, whereas this unit won't. It has a fixed maximum, so if you do go over it, you will damage this controller. So bear that in mind. It's got a really good heat sink on the back. Just show you there. And then underneath, you can see there all the different connections you've got. So obviously your PV plus and minus, which is these cables here. Then you've got your battery plus and minus, which are these cables, your four gauge 25 mil tray cables. You can connect a load and come out, but we're not connecting a load in. We're just using the battery cables that will then supply our positive and negative buzz bars and get the power that way. There's a temperature sensor, which is optional if you want to include that, which we haven't because we don't need to with this because we've got a lithium ion battery and you don't need temperature sensors with the lithium ions. And RS485 and RS232, what that means is, I'll just get this out again. So there's two different connections. You'll have BT1 and BT2. So BT1 is an RS232 connection and the BT2, and I'll show it around again, it will just say BT2 on there, is an RS485. This also comes with brackets to fix it, which is lovely. So these are the little brackets. And I haven't looked at this yet, but I think, yeah, it looks like you've got holes here for screws, so you can put a screw and slide it in, or it looks like you can fit these brackets as well. So either fix them, you've got the holes there, which lifts it off a bit. So the final thing in the kit are the solar panels. So we haven't got them to unbox. We didn't record any of the unboxing, but here they are on our roof. So you get six 100 watt monocrystalline solar panels. Monocrystalline solids are the best ones you can actually get. Um, I'll just put a screenshot of the actual dimensions of these as well, because that's the reason why we chose this kit with the 100 watt panels is because as you can see, they fit perfectly on our roof. So you can see there how they just fit perfectly down the side. And here are the brackets for the solar panels. So you can see how you don't have to fit them the same on each panel. They are, there's loads of holes underneath so you can actually move these brackets wherever you need them. So obviously with us here, you can see we've got them off center. And then here you can see how we've got the actual bracket mounted. Now it's different to how they recommend. So they recommend the bracket going up like this so the solar panel will be higher. But we actually found you could fit them upside down if that is upside down and it brings the solar panel much lower to the roof which is fine for us there's still a gap underneath for airflow even though this is an unboxing video i am going to go through the configuration and how this system needs to be wired because Obviously it's a kit, so it must be wired a certain way. Solar panels are designed to work with the charge controller. So this is the diagram you get with the system. So you can see you've got your six panels and your charge controller. We'll ignore all this for the moment. But how it's wired is you've got three panels in series, three panels in series, and then they're connected in parallel with these connectors like I showed you before. So what that means is they can work with this 60 amp charge controller. You can't install all panels in series or all panels in parallel. It could damage the charge controller and I'll explain why now. This is the specification for the solar charge controller, the 60 amp. So you can see the rated battery current, that's the 60 amp one. Now what you need to make note of is the maximum solar input voltage, which is 140 volts DC from the panels and the max solar input power. So these ones here. So depending on what system you're running, so whether it's 12 volt, 24, 36 or 48, there's a maximum wattage you can put through this charge controller. If you go overboard on these figures, you're likely gonna damage the controller, which is why they've given you the drawing to wire it a specific way. There's a misconception with solar panels that a 12 volt solar panel will supply 12 volts. What a 12 volt solar panel does is it means it's suitable for a 12 volt system. So if you've got a 12 volt system in your van, you can use 12 volt solar panels. If you've got a 24 volt system, you're gonna use 24 volt solar panels. And this is the spec for the 12 volt 100 watt panel, which comes with the kit. And you can see 
you need to look at the VOC, which is the power, the voltage that could be coming in, and it's 24.3 volts, it's not 12 volts. So this is the array without all the cables. So you've got your solar panels, your charge controller, and then these are the figures we need to know. So you've got your maximum solar input voltage is 140, and then the max solar input amps, which is worked out from these figures, the input powers. So at 12 volts, you can have 800 watts, 36 volts, you can have 2400 watts. Now, if you divide those by each other, you get 67 amps, which is sort of the max that this controller can take. So I'll just show you how each array works. So installing them as series, so which means all six panels are connected in series, as you can see they're wired there. The wattage will equal 600, because they just add up. The voltage will be added, so that's 145.8 volts, and the amps remains the same. So you can see the issue here is that the volts is 145.8, whereas the maximum solar input voltage is 140. So it actually takes it over the limit. So if you're installing these panels in series, most likely is you're gonna damage the controller. If the system's wired in parallel, how it's wired like this, you'll see that the parallel, the wattage is the same as series, it's just added, so it's 600 watts. Your voltage remains the same, so it doesn't increase or decrease, so it's the same amount as one panel, which is 24.3 volts. So the voltage you'll see is way under, so 140 is the max, and this is only 24.3, whereas the amperage is 31.26, but it's also underneath the maximum, which is 67 amps. So theoretically, based on the figures, you could use the system in parallel. The issue with using it in parallel, because it increases the amperage, is the connectors for the solar cables, their maximum rating is 30 amps. So you're risking the actual connectors becoming damaged or even burning out because their maximum is 30 amps. Also, the fuse rating for this kit is only 15 amps. So obviously it's gonna blow the fuse. And the other reason with we don't really want higher amperage is because you, you may need to increase the cable sizes because obviously the higher the current, the bigger the cable size is needed. So the configuration that's recommended is this one, which is series parallel. So you've got series one, series two and then the parallel connection is here series one we have three panels so you've got 300 watts the voltage is added so you've got 72.9 volts and the amps stay the same so one panel is the same as three so 5.21 now that's the same as series two so you've got three panels same again 300 watts voltage is added and the amps stay the same so what happens is both of these configurations then are joined with the Y branch connectors. So each series goes into the Y branch and then one cable, one positive, one negative cable comes out into the solar charge controller. So what that means is for the parallel configuration, we've got 600 watts. So obviously all the panels are added together. We've got 72.9 volts because parallel the voltage stays the same. So obviously 72.9 volts comes in, which stays exactly the same and the ampage is increased, so is added. So we add the 5.21, 5.21, which gives us 10.42 amps. So the power going into the solar charge controller is this here. So what that means is obviously the higher the voltage coming into a solar charge controller, the more efficient it will be. So obviously if you've just got a little bit of sunshine coming in, that's gonna create voltage. So the higher the voltage coming in is the more voltage will be produced on low light. Um, and the cables can take up to about 1,000 volts, so you're not restricted there. The only restriction you have is this input voltage of your charge controller. And then the low ampage, that means the cable size can be kept low, which is obviously better for cost and weight as well. So why 100 watt panels? Um, you could get 200 watt panels and 300 watt panels, but why 100? The main reason is efficiency. Efficiency rate of, an, of a solar panel means it's the percentage of sunlight hitting the panel gets converted into electricity. So the 100 watt panel is 22% efficient. So 22% of the sunlight hitting that panel gets converted to electricity. Now the 200 watt panel is 19.2 and I'll put the 175 one as well, that's slightly more. So obviously it's not a huge difference between, but if you've got say a thousand watts, that's a big percentage difference. And if you're relying on electricity in your van to power everything, 
then obviously that difference can make, you know, well, a big difference to your charging of your batteries. And the other reason for us, the 100 watt panels fit perfectly on our roof, like you see in this picture. They literally do. We couldn't have, you know, measured them more perfect, to be honest. The 200 panels are a different shape, obviously, and we couldn't configure them on the roof. So the 100 watt panels were better for us. Question two, are any other additional materials required to install this kit? So everything's sort of plug and play. So as you saw from the unboxing, all the cables are either stripped or they've got lugs on the end. So literally you can just plug it all together pretty much and it'll work. However, you need an isolator and this is an isolator. So what this does is it switches off both the cables coming into the van from the solar panels. Now this is either for maintenance or if you just want to switch the panels off. So here's the solar controller. Obviously at the moment it's switched on so the power is coming in through the panels. Switching this off will kill the power to the solar charge controller. Because this is sort of the point of entry where the solar panel cables come in, it's highly recommended for this isolate it to be put in place for safety and for maintenance purposes. I'll show you on this diagram where it's installed. So obviously all these are the components and this is the isolator here. So it will go where the cables come into your van before they go into your charge controller. It comes through into your van and you're able to isolate it so you can work on the charge controller or you just purely need to switch off the solar panels. The only other way to isolate them would actually be on the roof to disconnect the mp4 connectors these mp4 connectors once they're connected they're better being left alone because they're watertight so once they're in you're better to leave them and install one of these switches inside the van so question three is can more solar panels be added so the obviously the 600 watt kit you can actually get an 800 watt kit as well so this is the 800 watt kit so it's pretty much exactly the same as the 600 watt kit except for two more panels it's still got the 60 amp controller and the two panels are in series. So series one will have four and series two will have four. And you've still got that parallel connection there going in. As for other panel configurations, you would need to do cable calculations to make sure that the charge controller can obviously take the voltage and the amperage depending on the solar panel array. Last question is, are other solar panel kits available? So yes, not only are the 600 watt kits through Renergy, you can also get, so I'll put a link in the description below to where these kits are available online on the Renergy website. On the Renergy website, you'll see all the premium kits. These are, these are all the kits available. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 800 and 600 watt kits. And that's it then guys thanks so much for watching and um, if the video is informative please let me know and if you've got any other questions or queries please drop me a comment or an email and i'll do my best to get back to you all the information or product links or anything like that described in the video i've put in the description below so you can check those out and following on from this video i will do an install of this kit onto our luton camper van and also do a bit of an overview on the solar charge controller, so how to install it and just set it up. Um, so those two videos are to follow. So again, thanks so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe, stay in touch, and hopefully see you on the road.